Welcome to the 208 today. Such a long lead up to election 2020 and what seemed like a longer wait for the results. It took four days before the networks called the presidential election and they called it for Vice President Joe Biden. The announcement drew some criticism, though, from some saying that it was premature and that election results were not final. Our newsroom received several comments and a lot of questions about all of this, like what happens to Idaho ballots after election day. And even though networks have called it, when are election results considered official? Our Joe Paris spoke with Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain about the election results and the security process. With national and local conversations about ballot counting and recounting, a viewer writes to us asking, what happens to the ballots after election night? So we retain all of the ballots from the election. The ballot is the official record of the election. And it's what we'll always refer back to in case there are any questions or there's a need for a recount. Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain explains it's not just good practice for clerks to keep all of the ballots. It's legally required under Idaho law. All ballots by law are maintained for two years after the election. So there is no quick disposal of anything. We can always refer back to all of the materials from the election for at least a minimum of two years. In the time frame after an election and until final results are solidified, ballots are held in a secure location so nobody can alter any materials. Ada County, Idaho's most populated county, takes that one step further. In many other areas, the sheriff might actually take the ballots and move them, say, to their evidence storage room. Uh, here, what they do is the sheriff's office will actually come out. They change all of the locks on the doors to the room. And so while we have access to the rest of the election space, uh, the tabulation room and the ballot storage room are retained by the sheriff. They're the only ones who have keys to get into those rooms. And so when a recount does happen, which you know we've been through in the past, there will be a sheriff's deputy present throughout the entirety of the recount while any ballots are accessed because the ballots are under the sheriff's control. In the event of a recount, which Ada County will see in the ACHD District 2 race soon, a sheriff's deputy comes and unlocks the ballots, then observes the recount process. So when will results from election night be considered technically official? Clerk McGrain explains that in many places, including Idaho, election teams are still working to simply confirm the results from election night before labeling them as official. This is a standard practice done in every election. So we're going through and reconciling that process. We're looking through and validating it against the information from the poll books on election day, as well as the absentee records, trying to make sure that everything in terms of the results makes sense and that we can account for everything. And then tomorrow morning here in Ada County, we will actually canvas the results and make them official. Every vote counts, but some people have posted on social media about Sharpie gate. That's a theory that ballots cast with a Sharpie marker would not be processed. Someone as far to say that political groups were working to trick some voters by handing out Sharpies to voters. And McGrain says if you use the Sharpie, don't worry. They work the same as a pen or pencil. Our computers and the scanners that we use actually look at the pixels within those boxes as well as the pixels right around those boxes. And at no point will a Sharpie interfere with that process. That being said, we definitely heard concerns from some voters. And in a few instances, I've heard stories where a voter was issued a new ballot just because they wanted to make sure and be certain that their vote would count. But if someone filled out with a Sharpie, which I can attest plenty of people did, uh, those votes were counted in this election. They are counted properly. Joe, this was fascinating. I had no idea there was so much security involved after the election with those ballots. I guess it makes sense, though. OK, so any word on why some states took so much longer than Idaho on election night? Is it simply having fewer ballots to count? Yeah, Idaho having less pure volume definitely helps the situation. But when I was talking with Clerk McGrain earlier, he really says that those two bills, the bills passed during the special legislative session, helped speed things up during the process, allowing clerk's offices across Idaho to start processing things a week in advance. Uh, Clerk McGrain told me that he realistically doesn't think that things would have gotten done until Friday, at least in Ada County, if it hadn't been for the province letting them actually start seven days in advance. So if Idaho hadn't gone that far, Kim, there would have been a chance that you could have seen some situations in the gem state heading into the weekend. Yeah. All right. Well, Joe, as you have been doing throughout this election season, great insight today. We appreciate it. Thank you.